Hey, welcome to the Pharmacy Residency Podcast, a member of the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Just want to let you know I am still helping with letters of intent again uh, as we move towards phase two of the match. And I'm helping right now with getting your letter to where it needs to be from the ones that you had. And there's a lot of things that I can work with you and fix uh, on the way there. And then as soon as those that information about which programs are open is available, then we can start looking at how to make you see which ones you match best, best to and how you match best to them. So uh, to see if I'm someone that you want to work with, go to residencyhelp.com. You can find more information about letters of intent uh, and uh, things like that. What I want to talk about in this uh, episode is uh, when residency site spots are greater than the number of residency applicants. So this may seem crazy for those of you that are you know, applying now to some places that are looking for 200, 300 applicants and so forth. But there was a podcast episode yesterday with George Zorich, who uh, owns Zed Pharma, and Todd Yuri, the owner of the Pharmacy Podcast Network, talking about you know pharmacy school closings and things like that. And uh, what I want to do is, is tell you what the data show. And the data show that the pharmacy applicants were down about 5% you know, last January, and now they're down about 15% uh, this January. And the most important thing is that that's an accelerating number. And if that trend continues, we're going to see a point where the number of students that are available for residencies is going to be smaller than the number of residencies available. And I know this is kind of a, you'll say it's a pipe dream for those of you who are in the process right now, but imagine a completely different scenario where at the beginning of ASHP mid-year, you start getting a ton of invites in front of your hotel room door and they start inviting you to these small gatherings after, hey, you know, we're uh, from... Uh, the University of such and such medical center. Uh, we really think that you are a top candidate, and uh, we have the residency showcase. This is our booth, but we also want to meet with you outside of that and uh, see if we can just talk to you a little bit. We really, really are looking to recruit someone like you, and uh, we think that you know we would be a good fit. And I know some of you are laughing right now, like, yeah, right, that's going to happen. But if this continues, I mean, you go from 5% reduction to 15% to 25% to 35% reduction in the number of applicants, the number of students in pharmacy school is going to go back to pre-2006 numbers where it was about, I don't know, about 5,000 students uh, that were there. And I don't, it, I don't mean... Uh, to say that you know pharmacy schools that are, that I have anything against them, I'm just telling you what the data show, and uh, that right now confidence in putting X number of dollars into this pharmacy school investment and the confidence that you're going to get what you want after uh, isn't where it needs to be. So I have two pieces of advice. Uh, one, again, if if you're going for phase two, I, I can help you. Uh, do contact me. Um, there's a lot that, that we can do to, to make your application better and on time. Uh, but two, I want you to know that it, it's going to get a lot better relatively soon. I think in the next half decade, we're going to see uh, an absolute decimation of the number of students graduating back to uh, this correction, which should be around... Uh, if the numbers keep going like they are, uh, we are going to go from 12,000 accepted applicants from last year to probably, I don't know, around 6,000 accepted applicants uh, in you know three years or four years. And, and that's why I mentioned that number to Todd Yuri that you know 30 to 50 uh, pharmacy schools would close. Uh, I think that uh, they're not going to you know just shut down the next day. Uh, they're going to do what Valpo did as a law school, which is to let everybody graduate and then just not uh, accept any more graduates. But I think that means very good news for those of you who are looking for residency in the far future, especially those of you who are in high school right now or uh, freshman, sophomore, that uh, the number of applicants is going to go way down that are going to be available for residents. 
residencies and uh, the residencies will start recruiting you and it's going to be a, a complete reversal I think so anyway something I was just thinking about uh, really a stellar student that I have as an interview tomorrow who uh, has done research since she was a sophomore and has experience in clinical leadership teaching um, research obviously and service and would be one of those people that those top programs would probably come to recruit uh, because they would have seen her already on the national stage presenting. So uh, you know, again, look forward to that too, where you're going to uh, get to listen to somebody that will clearly be a national candidate uh, tomorrow. And uh, again, I, I harbor no ill will towards uh, anyone, but I, I'm just telling you the data show that uh, we're going to see a marked reduction in the number of students and if residencies continue to expand as they have at about 300 a year, uh, we're going to see it where the number of applicants to residency will actually be lower than the number of residencies available. Again, if you want help with your LOI, uh, go to residencyhelp.com and just kind of look and see if, if we're a good fit. And, you know, maybe you can do it on your own. Maybe by looking at my video and my template, you say, oh, gosh, you know, I, I think that's what I should have done. But maybe you do want somebody because it's emotionally trying and there's a lot going on. And I've got a number of uh, phase two success stories under... Uh, pharmacy residency podcast audio uh, that you can listen to as well on the website. So um, again, tomorrow we'll have a great episode and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, and if you're interested in learning more about the residency interview process, go to residencyhelp.com or amazon.com or audible.com and pick out 100 strong residency interview questions, answers, and rationales.